Okay, let's start with the intro. We're gonna start by finding a D. To find the D, look for two black notes next to each other, and the D is the white note right between them. The D that we want is the second one down from the top of the piano keyboard. Okay, so the second octave down. We're going to play that D without right hand with finger number three. So from there, we're gonna play D with finger three, E with finger four, C with finger two. Okay, so we have D with finger three, E with finger four, C with finger two, A with finger one. So it's, and then from that A with finger one, we're going to play a B with finger two and a G with finger one. So D, E, C, A, B, G. D, E, C, A, B, G. Finger three, four, two, one, two, one. Now after playing that, we're gonna do the same exact thing one octave lower on the piano keyboard. So D, E, C, A, B, G. And then we're gonna go one octave down, look for the two black notes again, the D between them, and we're gonna play that again. D, E, C, A, B, G. Again with fingers three, four, two, one, two, one. Okay, so from the beginning. And then we're going to start playing it again an octave lower. But after this B, we're going to go to A with finger one, cross over to a G sharp with finger two, and a G with finger one. From the beginning. Okay, now we're going to be playing the exact same notes in the left hand as we are in the right hand, just one octave lower. We just have to make sure that we get the fingers right so we could play it smoothly. So starting one octave lower than where we start with the right hand, let's play this D. Remember, look for the two black notes. The D is right between with finger two and then the E with finger one and the C with finger two. So D, E, C, but with finger two, one, and then two again. Then the A with finger four the B with finger three, and the G with finger five. So we have D, E, C, A, B, G. Finger two, one, two, four, three, five. And we're going to do the same thing we did with the right hand and go down the keyboard. Two, one, two, four, three, five. Then to the lower D. Two, one, two, four, three, five. And then again lower. Two, one, two, four, three. And then we're gonna cross under with finger one and play finger one on the A, two on the G sharp, three on the G. So let's do the left hand by itself. Now let's put both hands together for that part. So again, we're gonna be playing the same notes in both hands, let's just be careful about the fingering. Remember the right hand is starting with finger three, the left hand with finger two. So we have D, E, and remember that when we play the C, the left hand is going to finger two, the right hand to finger two as well. So D, E, C, and then the left hand is playing the A with finger four, the right hand with finger one, then the B with finger three in the left hand, and two in the right hand, the pinky with the left, the thumb with the right. Let's do that again nice and slow. Again. And now let's do it again and continue to go down the keyboard. Now when we get to that last one, remember that the right hand is going to play the A with finger one and the left hand is going to cross under to also play that A with finger one. 
and then the G sharp, both with finger two, and then the G with finger three on the left hand and one on the right hand. So. From the beginning. After we play these two Gs, the left hand is going to switch to the thumb for this G and also play a lower G. So it's going to play in octaves two Gs with the pinky and the thumb. While the right hand is going to play a G major chord, G, B, D, G, higher up on the keyboard. From the beginning. So the left hand is playing these two Gs. The right hand goes up a little bit to play a full G chord, G, B, D, G, with fingers one, two, three, and five. One more time from the beginning. Now from here, the left hand is then going to move up one octave to a higher G with finger two and a B with finger one. So from here, two and one, while the right hand plays D followed by D sharp. So again from here. And now the right hand here is pretty simple. After the D, D sharp, it's going to play E, C. E, C, E, C. So finger one on the E, finger five on the C, and again. So from here, the G and B, D, D sharp, E, C, E, C, E, C. Let's play all the way through there from the beginning. So all that's left is to go over the left hand while we play this E, C, E, C, E, C. Okay, so from the G and the B, the left hand is then going to play a C with the pinky. And from there, it's going to play a C major chord, which you don't have to know what that is. I'll spell out the notes. It's an E with finger five, a G with finger three, and a C with finger one. So C with the pinky, E, G, C with fingers five, three, one. So from the G and B. And from there, we're going to play two Gs with the pinky and the thumb or fingers five and one. So we have C, E, G, C, two Gs. From the two Gs, we're going to come up and we're going to switch finger one for finger three and play G, and A sharp and C. So from G and B, we have C, E, G, C, two Gs, G, A sharp, C. Okay, once again, G and B, C, E, G, C with fingers five, three, and one, to two Gs with the pinky and thumb, Fingers three, two, and one on G, A sharp, and C. And then we're going to go to two Fs, which is one white note to the left of the two Gs. So G and B, C, E, G, C, two Gs, G, A sharp, and C, two Fs. And from the two Fs, we're going to come up and play an A and a C with fingers two and one. So again, from the G and B, we have C, E, G, C, two Gs, G, A sharp, C, two Fs, A and C. And we're going to finish today by playing two Es, which is directly to the left of the last two notes we played, those Fs, Es. 
So from the G and B, we have C, E, G, C, two Gs, G, A sharp, C, two Fs, A and C, two Es. And now let's try to add that with the right hand. Remember, when we play the G and B, the right hand is playing that D, D sharp. And then when we play the E, the left hand comes in with that C. And then we play that high C in the right hand. So, and then the left hand will play that E, G, C. Okay, so again we have, and then the E in the right hand. So, and when we play this next C, we're going to play the two G's with the left hand. Okay, so we have, and then when we play this E, we're going to play the G, A sharp, and C in the left hand. And then the C, followed by the two Fs. And then the A and C to the two E's. So again, And that's the end of the part. Okay, let's finish by playing the whole thing from the beginning. One more time, a little faster. <laughs> 